FTV, what's your emotions after that? Do you know what? I'll be honest with you. This is my first North London derby at the stadium and I'm absolutely gutted. I went in club level, I paid £220 and in the first half, we was absolutely shocking. We had all the ball, we let them have two chances and they scored a goal. It's an absolute joke. And to be honest with you, Unai Emery is at fault for this because he made a big error in, in picking Gwendozi, Gwendjaka, Granite Jacker, sorry, and Torreira, when you should at least at least put one attacking minded midfielder in the front in the midfield. Mm. You can't put three defensive minded midfielders in the front three. You've got to at least put something in there that's gonna create a chance for someone. Do you, do you think with a manager he tinkers too much, you know what I mean? Or he does. do you think it's just that he's, he hasn't settled yet on what his preferred formation is? He does tinker too much, that's the problem. When we went to Liverpool, when I see that diamond formation, I couldn't believe it. You're giving their fullbacks all the space in the world to create chances for their front fault free. I don't understand what he thinks in his head. Me personally, I liked it when we got rid of Wenger and we changed and got a new manager and that. But I personally think Unai Emery is not the man to take us to the next level. Because you see, from today, we're at home and he played with three defensive midfielders. You've at least got to play with at least one attacking midfielder. You notice, when, in the last 20 minutes, when he brought Danny Ceballos on, it changed the whole game. And we had a chance of winning the game, but, but it, it was too little, too late. We was fighting from being 2-0 down. Look, I'm not going to moan about it too much. We are 2-0 down, so at least draw is at least something. But we should have won today. Like, Tottenham have been shit this season. Let's be honest, they've been absolutely shit. Having said that, they did, get, they did get a draw at City as well. Yeah, so but, the, yeah, but yeah. let's be honest, they got a draw through fucking VAR and through luck. That's, that's the reason why they got a draw at Man City. But to get a draw here, when we hate them so much, is unbelievable. I'm gutted, really. A draw, to me, feels like it's a defeat. We should not be drawing to fucking Tottenham Hotspurs. We shouldn't. They're shit. We all know that. And uh, man in the match for you? <sighs> oh, uh, do you know what? Do you know what it is? It's, it, I, I hate to see it. Lacazette keeps be being taken off in the last couple of minutes of the game. But I think Lacazette is the one that shows the most desire, it shows the most passion and ambition to bring everyone back into the game. So Lacazette needs to be staying on for 90 minutes. Don't take him off. Why take him off? I'd rather, I'd rather take off one midfielder and have Lacazette, Aubameyang, Pepe and another attacking midfielder on than take Lacazette off. And Mika Tyrion, let's be honest, since he's come here, he's had one good game in like since he's been here. He's not done nothing, has he? Mkhitaryan's shit. Let's all be honest. He's rubbish. He's not good enough. He's not good enough at all. We need to get rid of Mkhitaryan. We need to get rid of Ozil, Elneny, Mustafi. All them. We need a new back four. Let's be honest. We need a new back four. I know we've got uh, Tierney to come back. We've got Bellerin to come back. But we still need two decent centre-backs. And, and the number one target in January has to be Apple Meccano because he is a baller. And I hope we get him.